If you are a lifelong bird watcher or just getting into the hobby, then you can take to the trails at the Wellfield Botanic Gardens for their monthly winter bird walks led by an Indiana master naturalist. We took a trip out to Wellfield to learn more about the program. Take a look. the education coordinator here at the Wellfield. There's events happening for individuals of all ages throughout the entire year, including the winter time, which yes. we're currently in, but talking about the bird watching guided tour. What does that look like? What can someone come to expect from being involved? The winter bird walks were so lucky to be able to offer because of uh, Mary Kaufman Canal, who has been leading our bird walks since 2016. Um, during the winter, we offer a walk the first Sunday of the month. So our next winter walk will be February 5th from two o'clock to three o'clock. And that is on a Sunday, um, which for Elkhart residents, you can come in and uh, enjoy your walk and, and enjoy the gardens for free. Which is amazing to be able to experience this. So for someone who has not been a part of the walk in the past, can families come, can kids? Who makes an expert bird watcher? <laughs> I think anybody mm -hmm. of any age can be an expert bird watcher. We typically have adults. We have had a couple of older kids mm -hmm. come with their parents. Anybody that enjoys walking around outside, looking for the wildlife, it will be a great bird watcher. And what should someone bring other than maybe themselves? <laughs> Nothing is required, although we strongly urge you to dress for the weather mm -hmm. so that you are comfortable outside in the gardens because everything is outside. Mm -hmm. um, some people enjoy bringing uh, their binoculars, mm -hmm. although that is not required. Mm -hmm. um, we do have a few bird watchers that bring their cameras with their lens that help them to spot birds. And some people will bring a bird guide mm -hmm. so that they can track what they see and um, submit that to eBird. Mary is an Indiana master naturalist and guides the bird walks here at Wellfield. Thank you for taking us out here this morning and showing us what you're so passionate about. So when someone is doing a bird walk here at Wellfield, what can they come to expect or what are they really looking for? I always say we look for whatever we happen to see. Um, we tend to see a lot of the resident birds here, cardinals, uh, blue jays. I always also say there's always a surprise. You know, you never know what can show up. And being in a group, we have the advantage of everyone's eyes and ears. And the best thing here is we, we have these nice accessible paths to walk on so you it's easy level walking for people it's a wide open space so we often we can see birds flying back and forth and you said some special surprises what has been a maybe a highlight for you on one of the the guided walking tours here at the well field where you were just excited to be able to see one spot one and experience it with the group one of our recent ones was, it's not an uncommon bird, it's a red-tailed hawk, which is very common in, well, across the whole United States. But on one of our winter walks, we got to see one sitting in a tree, eating its lunch. <laughs> which is an extra treat. And speaking of maybe eating lunch or having a snack here at the well field for the birds, we're standing in front of some of the feeders. So are you able to see different communities of birds in front of this stock? Typically the birds that come to feeders, well, if people are familiar with their backyard feeders, it'll be the same kinds of birds. The uh, blue jays, the house sparrows, the finches, the cardinals. So it creates some activity here. So that is good. We also have a, a small woods that is a good place for woodpeckers. And one of the great things about winter is there are no leaves in the trees. So birds are easier to spot in the winter. In the summer, you have all the leaves in the trees and so the birds can easily hide. Um, so it's a good way. Winter is a great time for beginner birders to learn birds because there are there's 
fewer birds here because we don't have the migrants from the south and so you learn to know your resident birds and the other thing is that then we have some winter visitors that come that are not here in the summer if you can believe it birds come to Indiana for their winter um, so the most common one of those would be the junco the uh, little gray 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 bird with a white belly and it, we call it snowbird because it's it's here during the winter. Ooh, a great uh, facet of the, the bird walking uh, experience. And of course, Mary is an incredible resource. Absolutely. So if you are even intrigued by the birds that you're seeing in your own backyard, expand it right here at the Wellfield. Yeah. The next winter bird walk is happening Sunday, February. 5th from 2 to 3 p.m. You can give them a call 574-266-2006 or check out wellfieldgardens.org for all the events happening throughout the year.